Hello, reflation trades seem extended. Yet the speech today by Donald Trump in front of Congress may provide a last push up. If indeed reflation trades do correct over the next couple of months, the dollar may be at the crossroads of this correction. We will first start with the dollar versus the major currencies. The dollar has been the more reflationary currency among the majors. And we'll first look at the dollar index on our FinGraphs chart. This is a weekly chart or the perspective over the next few quarters. As we can see, the dollar is still in an uptrend with a bull indication. Yet it has reached its targets with our targets labeled E up done, impulsive up done. And uh, both our envelopes are touching each other, showing a situation of market stress. Our risk index is now also in the overbought zone. This could be a situation where we could see a consolidation down developing over the next few quarters in the dollar. On a daily basis, this correction may have started. The dollar index topped in mid-December. It has been correcting down and has now found the support of our corrective targets. It is now moving up again. It remains to be seen if it can make new highs over the next few weeks. The risk index still has a way to go, so we could expect an attempt to these new highs uh, over the, next, the end of February and early March. Looking at the hourly chart or the perspective over the next few weeks, we are still in an uptrend, we're not quite overbought yet, and our targets could lead us back towards 101.80 up to 102.64. To summarize the situation with our three charts, the weekly is toppy and is in the overbought zone. The daily has started to correct down, but is seeing some retracement up, or last push up, and the hourly could see that last push up move up slightly above 102, possibly retesting lows, but not going much above them. Now we much differentiate between the dollar versus the other main currencies, and the dollar versus uh, commodity currencies. We've taken as an example the dollar versus the Russian ruble. As we could see, as reflation has developed during 2016, uh, the dollar has uh, become weaker against the ruble, and uh, so, the so it has uh, corrected down. It has now reached the support of our corrective targets down, and may be at the right point to create a correction up uh, during at the end of the first quarter and the beginning of the second quarter 2017. Now if we look at the daily we could see the downtrend is still in place but we've pretty much reached its targets in terms of prices. The risk index is not quite oversold yet but it's getting there. So it's a matter of weeks before we could actually make a bottom here and start correcting up. So the dollar over the next few weeks should make a bottom and start correcting up against the ruble. On an hourly basis, we've had a first attempt up, which found resistance with our corrective targets, and we're now uh, resuming the downtrend, possibly into a final low. You can see the risk index has bounced uh, on and off from the oversold situation, and could yet be oversold again uh, to be able to create that low. If we look at it over the three time frames, the ruble is in a correction down, which is meeting important support. Uh, the daily chart is uh, still moving lower, but it's getting pretty much exhausted. And the hourly uh, had a first attempt, will probably retrace, but it's getting to a point where it's uh, decently oversold. Now, one of the main uh, drivers uh, behind these trades is oil. So we look here at Brent on a weekly chart. We can see that since, since early 2016, it has corrected up. It is still a correction for now, and it has pretty much reached what is meant to be for a correction. We are now into our corrective targets. Our risk index is still quite low, but may be rolling over. We would expect some consolidation here before we can move higher, possibly in the second half of 2017. Looking at the daily, we're still in an uptrend, but we're already overbought. And we could see, and we've seen uh, quite a, a shallow consolidation since end December. We believe there might be a last push-up, which could lead us 
towards the lower 60s, but that this push-up should then reverse down uh, in sync with the weekly. Looking at the daily, we could ana analyze this push-up. We could see that uh, we are getting ready uh, to, po to, to possibly break the previous highs and uh, possibly move towards uh, the high of 57s uh, to the high of 58s levels. The time uh, which is allocated for this move is almost exhausted, so it could be a quite a rapid move before it reverses down. So oil has pretty much reached its corrective targets up. It has a bit more to go on the daily, but it is already overbought. And on the early, we may be getting ready for a last push-up, but we don't believe it could last very long. Similarly, the reflation trade is also proxied by equity markets. We can see that the S&P 500, although not overbought yet, which probably tells us that there's more potential towards the second half of 2017, uh, on the other hand, it is already in market stress with both our envelopes touching each other. We believe this is a nice, a nice setup for an intermediate top. Our targets have also been reached uh, with our impulsive updone uh, uh, indication here. Looking at the daily chart or the perspective over the next few months, also here we are at stress on the envelopes. There's a bit more leeway on uh, the oscillator before it is overbought, but we have also pretty much reached the targets here. So also here, it's a matter of weeks before we move up and top out for an intermediate top. The correction down could possibly last uh, one and a half to three months. Finally, looking at the early, uh, we are also stretch here. Uh, we are uh, at stress on our envelopes, almost in an overbought condition, and our targets have been done. So we could expect one last acceleration up, but this is pretty much it. As a summary, three bulls still, but all of them seem pretty much extended on our envelopes and in terms of targets. So the risk reward has uh, deteriorated quite significantly over the last few weeks. Thank you very much and have a good week.